Hello and welcome to British Flora. The whole purpose of this video is to present to you details of Magnolia species, a plant that is not that prevalent in Kerala. The whole of UK is in full bloom at the moment, so I just couldn't resist taking a video. That's why I thought of presenting it to you. Magnolias are believed to be the earliest known flowering plants with their fossils dating back over 100 million years. Magnolia trees even existed before bees, so they rely on beetles for pollination. Instead of nectar, the flowers produce large quantities of pollen that the beetles use for food. Magnolia trees are prized for their large flowers that perfume the balmy spring air with a sweet, heady fragrance. Their magnificent tulip or star-shaped flowers can be as large as saucers when fully opened. They range in color from pink, purple, white and even yellow. Some varieties have double blossoms. The magnolias are woody trees and shrubs comprising 12 genera and about 220 species. The leaves are simple and alternate, usually with deciduous stipules and enclose the bud. The flowers are bisexual, actinomorphic and usually large, generally with three sepals and six to many petals. The andrisium consists of many helically disposed stamens, each with generally large microsporangia and usually a short, poorly differentiated filament. The gynesium is apocarpus, consisting of many helically disposed simple pistils. Each pistil has a superior ovary with a single locule and one to several marginal ovules. All of the floral parts are distinct and are attached to an elongated receptacle. The pistils mature in the follicles or less often berries or samara. How do you propagate magnolia plants? You can do that by seed clonal propagation by soft wood cuttings, air layering or grafting. Many magnolias are deciduous, losing their leaves over winter, but a few are evergreen with dark, glossy leaves all year round. That's all. This is Dr. Philip John signing off from Hainault, London.